begin tonight with how white nationalist receipts can get you fired, even from Fox. The New York Times reports damning text messages Tucker Carlson sent to a producer after he watched a video of Trump supporters attacking a, quote, Antifa kid, led Fox management to say, yeah, he's got to go. The text exchange occurred a day after the January 6th insurrection. According to the text, According to the Times, the texts were redacted in the court filings in the Dominion case, but the contents were disclosed in interviews with several people close to the defamation suit against Fox. A representative for Tucker told the Times that he had no comment. Fox also did not respond to a request by the Times for comment. But the texts were revealing for the man who made white replacement theory standard fair on Fox and in the Republican Party. So Tex Tucker texted that he had recently watched a video in which, quote, a group of Trump guys surrounded an Antifa kid and started pounding the living S out of him. It was three against one, at least. Jumping a guy like that is dishonorable, obviously. It's not how white men fight. Did you catch that? Not how white men fight. Okay, he continues. Yet suddenly I found myself rooting for the mob against the man, hoping they'd hit him harder, kill him. I really wanted them to hurt the kid. I could taste it. Then something deep in my brain, an alarm went off. This isn't good for me. I'm becoming something I don't want to be. The Antifa creep is a human being. Much as I despise what he says and does, much as I'm sure I'd hate him personally if I knew him, I shouldn't gloat over his suffering. That kind of weird, odd 19th century eugenicist talk should be of no surprise to anyone who's seen what is arguably the show of record for white grievance. White supremacy, that's the problem. This is a hoax. So we're still not precisely sure how George Floyd died. Very few unarmed black men are killed by white cops these days. Where's George Floyd when you need him? The only job training program this administration has gotten behind in two and a half years is getting black people to sell more weed in the cities. Ilhan Omar is living proof that the way we practice immigration has become dangerous to this country. So we have a moral obligation to admit the world's poor, they tell us, even if it makes our own country poorer and dirtier and more divided. When people show you who they are, believe them, the great Maya Angelou said. Similarly, journalist Adam Serwer tweeted, last night, I can't believe Tucker Carlson is exactly who he appeared to be, which is racist and also a violence-loving weirdo. And this is not how white men fight? Like, what does that even mean? White men don't fight unless it's some civilized duel with antique pistols? But what about when they fought on January 6th? Beating the hell out of police, tasing, bear spraying, and trying to kill them. White men don't fight like that, Tucker? What about the atrocities waged by Europeans, like the Holocaust? Or the U.S. Army's war against Native Americans that helped to wipe 90% of indigenous people off this continent? I mean, they sliced off Native people's scalps in the name of civilization. What about slavery? Seemed pretty violent to me. I mean, history books are still legal, Tucker. Or lynching! Mob violence, torture, using giant hoses and police dogs on young people fighting for basic human rights. I mean, no people on this earth are immune from violence in their histories, Tucker. What about your boy Vladimir Putin and what he's doing to Ukraine? They're literally raping women and stealing children. That is how they're fighting. Please explain, Tucker. Oh, that's right, you can't. You don't have a TV show anymore because Fox News had a problem with this particular text which the New York Times said set off a panic at the highest levels of Fox on the eve of its billion-dollar defamation trial, which is interesting and also confusing. It is an alarming text, make no mistake, gross even, but not exactly revealing. The network, led by Rupert and Lachlan Murdoch, had no problem with the racist bile Tucker emitted on its air in primetime every night. In fact, Tucker's hate parade was ratings gold, which is why Fox tolerated it, maybe even encouraged.